Hi, you're watching NewsX and SportsX. I'm Siddharth Rege. Now, the match-fixing allegations, the shocking charges on Pakistan cricket continue to tumble out. The latest being Mohammad Hafiz. He was he was uh, uh, in a in a in a video with Shoaib Akhtar on his YouTube channel, and the former seasoned Pakistani cricketer who's who's very experienced came out and said that uh, he was aware of the match fixing that was going on uh, during the he was he was referring to to. Uh, a period of say three or four years when that infamous 2010 match fixing scandal happened and he says that he tried to raise his voice against what was happening back then but he was clearly told that if he wants to continue playing for Pakistan uh, he should stay quiet now these are very big charges that are being leveled by on Pakistani cricket uh, uh, well obviously he continued to play for Pakistan despite knowing these things but uh, uh, Another set of allegations were levelled a few days ago, uh, that too by a, a, a very big legend, a very big Pakistani legend, Shoy Bakhtar, who came out and said that he felt as if he was playing against 21 players, uh, uh, 21 players including 10 of his uh, own teammates. Uh, he said it in a YouTube video and uh, uh, that also, uh, well, it blew the roof of uh, the the internet and people suddenly started questioning as to questioning him as to well why was he si silent all this time now uh, these are not normal allegations they are not then these people are not talking about two or three cricketers two or three pakistani cricketers who 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 were possibly involved in this now look at what these two look at what these two guys have carefully said Shoy Bakhtar, as I said, has come out and said that he felt that he was playing against 21 players, which means he's talking about the entire team. Uh, Mohammad Hafiz too, he said that he tried to raise voice against uh, the, these uh, uh, players who, who were involved in match fixing, but he was clearly told by someone from the authority that he needs to shut up. Uh, uh, now, these two understanding uh, how 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 long these two guys have played cricket? Uh, Mohammad Hafiz he made his ODI debut in 2003. Continued to play until 2019. So a period of 16 years. Imagine how many generations or, or I would I wouldn't say generations or how many different Pakistani teams was he a part of? Uh, Shoaib Bakhtar too. A career uh, that went on for 15 years. Uh, the, this this uh, Shoaib Bakhtar's career includes uh, well m these both cricketers they their careers careers include top 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 pakistani cricketers you talk about wasim akram uh, i'm not i'm not uh, leveling any allegations against against them but these are just the players who these guys played against talk about wasim akram the current prime minister imran khan then uh, inzamam ul haq uh, uh, shahid afridi and you can name them so these are very big, big very big allegations as i speak of now we know what happened in 2010 uh, with uh, salman but Mohammad Asif and Mohammad Amir, yes, the infamous 2010 uh, sports fixing scandal, these three were, yes, punished. Uh, Mohammad Amir, uh, of course, made his comeback a few years later, but uh, yes, again, uh, the, it, it, these two guys mean that uh, the fixing uh, went or the corruption went beyond these three players. Now, this has been novel with the PCB, right? Uh, PCB uh, continues to be involved in different controversies. In 2018, uh, as soon as uh, well, Imran Khan was elected as the Prime Minister, Najam Sethi resigned as the PCB chairman. And uh, well, uh, he definitely had no reasons to resign, right? Because under him, Pakistan performed very well. They won the uh, uh, 2017 ICC Champions Trophy and then things just went downwards. So that shows the kind of political involvement there is in Pakistani cricket board and yes uh, I would come to this but yes the ICC keeps remains silent on these grave allegations now uh, yeah, we've talked about talking we've spoken about uh, the international level or the multi or the global level of uh, corruption that could have possibly gone down in Pakistan there's been uh, there's been dirt internally to uh, I'm referring yes I'm referring to the 2017 Pakistani Super League scandal uh, that involved six cricketers uh, I would read out their names uh, Sharjil Khan Khalid Latif Nasir Jamshed Mohammad Rifan Shahzab Hassan and Mohammad Nawaz so internally if six people from one team are involved 
into uh, corruption you can see you can just uh, get a sense of what's 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 going on in uh, pakistan domestic cricket as well now uh, on one side uh, these uh, uh, these allegations and charges are coming up on the other side what what is icc doing it's allowing uh, test cricket to be played in pakistan uh, there's no action against uh, pakistan despite uh, the constant uh, uh, well complaints that have been filed in it by india as to why uh, uh, t security of players is uh, important uh, we saw what the sri lankan players did last month they refused to play in pakistan so on one side you can see icc going soft on pakistan but on the other hand looking you know getting a sense of these allegations that have been made what should the icc do yes they should launch a probe into pakistan because this possible scandal it could be uh, 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 even more uh, even bigger than the one that happened in 2010 we're talking about two big players who played 20 years of cricket each so this could possibly be going on for the past three decades so yes icc if, if uh, you ICC or Shashank Manohar instead of uh, you know going soft on Pakistan please launch a probe into these allegations because it could possibly be the biggest match fixing corruption the cricket and world has ever seen thanks for watching this video for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon